Amidst the dazzling lights of Hollywood, Patrick Swayze emerged not only as a talented actor, but also as a cultural phenomenon. From his unforgettable performances in iconic films like Dirty Dancing and Ghost, Swayze captured the hearts of audiences worldwide. However, beyond the glitz and glamour, lay a man haunted by personal demons. Let's delve into the enigmatic journey of Patrick Swayze. I mean, you're only on this planet for so long. I have these demons that run around in my insides. I've done everything in the world thinking I'm going to get rid of them. I don't know if it ever will. Unraveling the struggles that shaped his life and career, and ultimately revealing the poignant truths that defined his legacy. Join us as we uncover the tragic secrets that cost Patrick Swayze his life and career. American actor, dancer, and singer-songwriter Patrick Wayne Swayze left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Renowned for his versatility and charisma, Swayze excelled in portraying a wide range of characters, from romantic leads to tough action heroes and comedic figures. His magnetic presence on screen captivated audiences worldwide, earning him accolades and admiration throughout his career. One of Swayze's most iconic roles came in 1987's Dirty Dancing, where he portrayed the suave and talented dance instructor Johnny Castle. His mesmerizing performance in the film not only showcased his exceptional dancing abilities, but also cemented his status as a heartthrob and leading man. The chemistry between Swayze and his co-star Jennifer Grey was palpable, making Dirty Dancing a beloved classic. Three years later, Swayze starred in another unforgettable role in the paranormal romance film, Ghost. His portrayal of Sam Wheat, a murdered man who returns as a ghost to protect his beloved, resonated deeply with audiences and earned him critical acclaim. Swayze's poignant performance catapulted Ghost to become one of the highest grossing films of the year and solidified Swayze's status as a Hollywood heavyweight. Swayze was also a gifted singer-songwriter. He co-wrote and recorded the popular song She's Like the Wind, which featured in the soundtrack of Dirty Dancing and became a chart-topping hit. His musical contributions added another layer of depth to his artistic legacy, further cementing his status as a multifaceted entertainer. But his career and life were cut short by the toll of his struggles. To make any sense of things, we must look at his life from the very beginning. Born on August 18, 1952, Patrick Wayne Swayze's journey began in Houston, Texas. He was part of a family deeply rooted in the arts. His parents, Patsy Swayze and Jesse Wayne Swayze, played pivotal roles in shaping his early upbringing. Patsy, a renowned dancer, choreographer, and dance instructor, instilled in Patrick a love for movement and expression from a young age. Meanwhile, Jesse, an engineering draftsman, provided for the family. Growing up in the Oak Forest neighborhood of Houston, Patrick attended various schools, including the St. Rose of Lima Catholic School, Oak Forest Elementary School, Black Middle School, and Waltrip High School. Swayze's journey into the world of dance and theater began at a young age, sparked by a deep-rooted passion for artistic expression. Growing up, he exhibited a natural inclination towards movement and performance, from early childhood, Swayze explored dance, theater, and other performing arts disciplines. His innate talent and dedication quickly became apparent, garnering attention and praise from instructors and peers alike. As Swayze delved deeper into the realms of dance and theater, he discovered a profound sense of purpose and identity within the world of performing arts. It was here that he found his calling, channeling his energy and creativity into honing his craft and mastering the intricacies of movement, expression, and storytelling. Swayze's introduction to dance and theater laid the foundation for a storied career marked by passion, dedication, and an unwavering commitment to his craft. His early experiences in the world of performing arts would shape the trajectory of his life, setting him on a course toward becoming a cultural icon and beloved figure in the realm of entertainment. Despite his diverse interests and talents, including ice skating, classical ballet, and acting in school plays, Patrick's path took an unexpected turn when a knee injury dashed his hopes of pursuing football on a scholarship. Undeterred by this setback, 
he turned to martial arts including wushu, taekwondo, and aikido as outlets for his competitive spirit and inner turmoil. But his life would take a whole different turn altogether. In 1972, Patrick embarked on a new chapter in New York City where he sought to further his dance training at the Harkness Ballet and Joffrey Ballet schools. His dedication and passion for dance caught the attention of American choreographer Elliot Feld, who envisioned a ballet collaboration between Patrick and the legendary Mikhail Baryshnikov. However, Patrick's aspirations were temporarily derailed due to a knee reconstruction. But this did not halt his journey to stardom. His professional debut as a dancer for the Disney Theatrical Group marked the beginning of a remarkable career trajectory. Transitioning to the stage, Swayze stepped into the iconic role of Danny Zuko in the Broadway production of Grease, captivating audiences with his charisma and talent. In 1979, Swayze made his foray into the world of cinema with his film debut as Ace in Skate Town, USA. Embracing the disco era, he made a memorable appearance in a Pabst Blue Ribbon commercial set in a disco-themed nightclub. His small screen presence was equally impactful, with notable roles in television series such as M.A.S.H., where he portrayed Private Sturgis and the TV movie Return of the Rebels. Another pivotal moment in his career came when he moved to Los Angeles, seeking a transition from the world of theater to the realm of television and film. In LA, Swayze encountered a competitive and unforgiving industry landscape where success was elusive and opportunities were scarce. Undeterred, he immersed himself in auditions and casting calls, tirelessly honing his skills and seeking out roles that would showcase his talent. Swayze's perseverance paid off when he landed his first television role, laying the groundwork for a successful career in the medium. Through his work on the small screen, he honed his acting abilities and gained valuable experience, laying the foundation for his eventual transition to the silver screen. Amidst the highs and lows of his burgeoning career, Patrick Swayze faced the profound loss of his father in 1982, a deeply personal tragedy that would shape his life in profound ways. Struggling to cope with the grief and sorrow that accompanied his father's passing, Swayze found solace in his work, throwing himself into his acting endeavors with renewed vigor and determination. Through his performances, he channeled his emotions and experiences, using his craft as a form of catharsis and self-expression. Swayze also found comfort and support in the arms of his loved ones. Amid these trying times, Swayze's career continued to evolve. Swayze found himself thrust into the spotlight of Hollywood with his involvement in projects like 1983's The Outsiders. He delivered a compelling performance as the older brother of C. Thomas Howell and Rob Lowe and earned recognition for dramatic depth. This was followed by his portrayal of a Marine Corps trainer in Uncommon Valor, released later the same year. However, his big breakthrough came from an unexpected quarter. When offered a role in Dirty Dancing, he was hesitant to accept because he was concerned about being typecast as a dancer. Swayze was striving to establish himself as a versatile actor beyond his dance skills. However, he ultimately decided to take on the role recognizing the potential of the character and the film. His role in Dirty Dancing would ultimately prove to be a defining moment in his career, catapulting him to international fame and cementing his status as a Hollywood icon. In Dirty Dancing, Swayze delivered a career-defining performance, bringing depth, complexity, and charisma to the character of Johnny Castle. His performance proved to be a triumph, earning him widespread acclaim and propelling him to superstardom. The film's immense success catapulted him into the Hollywood spotlight, forever changing the trajectory of his career and solidifying his legacy as one of the industry's most beloved and iconic figures. Even after all these years, Dirty Dancing, a beloved 1987 American romantic drama dance film, remains a timeless classic cherished by audiences worldwide. Directed by Emile Ardolino, the film follows the story of Frances Baby Houseman, portrayed by Jennifer Grey, a young woman who finds herself drawn into a passionate romance with dance instructor Johnny Castle, played by Swayze, 
during a summer vacation at a resort. Filmed against the picturesque backdrop of Lake Lure, North Carolina, and Mountain Lake, Virginia, Dirty Dancing captured the hearts of audiences upon its release. Premiering at the Cannes Film Festival in May 1987, the film garnered critical acclaim and box office success, grossing over $214 million worldwide. Critics lauded the performances of Gray and Swayze, whose on-screen chemistry brought the characters of Baby and Johnny to life with authenticity and charm. Additionally, the film's captivating soundtrack achieved immense popularity, spawning multi-platinum albums and earning accolades such as the Academy Award, Golden Globe Award, and Grammy Award for the hit song, The Time of My Life. Dirty Dancing also inspired a vibrant franchise that continues to captivate audiences across various mediums. From a television series and reality competition shows to a prequel titled Dirty Dancing Havana Nights and a successful stage production, the film's legacy endures through its undented popularity and cultural impact. The filming of Dirty Dancing was an arduous yet ultimately rewarding endeavor. Despite the allure of the filming locations, the production faced numerous challenges, including adverse weather conditions and logistical obstacles. Filming lasted for just 43 days, but the cast and crew had to endure scorching temperatures and demanding shooting schedules. The intense heat, coupled with the equipment required for filming, led to uncomfortable working conditions. The demanding nature of the shoot took its toll on the cast, with several incidents requiring medical attention. In one instance, Patrick Swayze, who wanted to perform his stunts, sustained a knee injury during the filming necessitating a hospital visit. Despite these hardships, the cast and crew persevered. The on-screen chemistry between Swayze and Gray, initially strained by past conflicts, was reignited through the intervention of producers and directors, resulting in performances that resonated with audiences worldwide. Notably, some of the film's most memorable moments were born out of spontaneity and improvisation. Instances such as Gray's uncontrollable giggling during a scene with Swayze, which was ultimately retained in the final cut, added an authentic and endearing touch to the film. Dirty Dancing became a cultural phenomenon and enduring classic. Critical acclaim followed suit. The New York Times hailed it as a metaphor for America in the early 1960s, praising its portrayal of a bygone era filled with good intentions and prosperity. However, opinions varied. Some appreciated Jennifer Grey's performance and character development, while others criticized the film's plot as predictable and uninspired. The film struck a chord with audiences, transcending demographic expectations to attract adult viewers who embraced its nostalgic charm and poignant themes. Scoring massive success at the box office, both domestically and internationally, the film's impact extended beyond the cinema influencing dance classes across America. Moreover, the resort where Dirty Dancing was filmed has capitalized on its connection to the beloved film by offering themed weekend activities. These events include dance lessons, guided tours of filming locations, screenings of the movie, themed parties and lawn games, providing fans with immersive experiences reminiscent of the film's setting. Mount Holyoke College has also incorporated the film into its traditions, screening it annually for incoming first years, particularly highlighting the line, Babies Starting Mount Holyoke in the Fall. This tradition underscores the film's enduring popularity and its significance to the college community. Dirty Dancing has also inspired various adaptations across different media formats. For instance, in 1988, a music tour titled Dirty Dancing Live in Concert toured 90 cities in three months, featuring performances by Bill Medley and Eric Carmen, further amplifying the film's musical legacy. CBS launched a weekly television series in October 1988, featuring Melora Hardin as Baby and Patrick Cassidy as Johnny. However, the series, devoid of the original cast or crew, was canceled after 10 episodes. In 2004, a prequel film titled Dirty Dancing Havana Nights was released, starring Romola Garay and Diego Luna. Despite featuring a cameo by Patrick Swayze, the film received mostly negative reviews from critics. Moreover, 
Dirty Dancing, the classic story on stage, debuted as a musical adaptation in 2004. With Eleanor Bergstein at the helm, the production achieved commercial success, garnering positive reviews and enjoying sellout runs in various countries, including Australia, Germany, and the UK's West End. While the film has bagged a lasting legacy of its own, its unprecedented success also catapulted Swayze to international fame, earning him widespread acclaim and a Golden Globe Award nomination. Subsequent roles in films like 1989's Roadhouse further solidified his status as a leading man in Hollywood, demonstrating his ability to command the screen with his rugged charm and undeniable talent. Swayze continued to captivate audiences with his compelling performances throughout the 1990s. In the romantic thriller Ghost, released in 1990, Swayze delivered a memorable portrayal of Sam Wheat, earning critical acclaim and another Golden Globe nomination for his nuanced acting alongside co-stars Demi Moore, Whoopi Goldberg, and Tony Goldwyn. Ghost emerged as the highest-grossing film of the year, resonating with audiences worldwide and leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. The iconic scene featuring Swayze and Moore at a pottery wheel remains etched in cinematic history, symbolizing the film's timeless appeal and emotional depth. Building on the momentum of Ghost's success, Swayze showcased his versatility in 1991's action-packed thriller Point Break, starring alongside Keanu Reeves. His magnetic presence on screen earned him further acclaim, solidifying his reputation as a leading man in Hollywood. Swayze's irresistible charm and undeniable talent garnered him the title of Sexiest Man Alive by People magazine in 1991, cementing his status as a heartthrob of the era. The annual feature Sexiest Man Alive has for decades been a hallmark of male attractiveness in popular culture, often showcasing famous individuals who embody charisma, charm, and physical allure. Swayze's selection as the Sexiest Man Alive in the July 22, 1991, issue marked a significant moment in the history of the feature. At the age of 38, Swayze epitomized not only physical attractiveness, but also cultural relevance and widespread appeal. Renowned for his talent as an actor, dancer, and musician, Swayze captured the hearts of audiences with his magnetic screen presence and undeniable charisma. Beyond his striking good looks, Swayze's portrayal of iconic characters in films such as Dirty Dancing and Ghost solidified his status as a cultural phenomenon. Swayze was also honored with a star on the illustrious Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1997. However, his career faced a setback in 1997 when he sustained serious injuries while filming HBO's Letters from a Killer. Despite enduring multiple broken bones and tendon injuries, Swayze demonstrated resilience in his recovery, eventually returning to the screen in 2000 with the film Forever Lulu alongside Melanie Griffith. Swayze's versatility as an actor was further showcased in the 1995 film to Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar, where he portrayed one of three drag queens stranded in a small town. His commitment to diverse roles underscored his dedication to his craft and solidified his status as a beloved and respected figure in the entertainment industry. In the early 2000s, Patrick Swayze continued to showcase his versatility as an actor, embracing challenging and diverse roles that highlighted his talent and range. In 2001's cult classic Donnie Darko, Swayze delivered a memorable performance as a complex and enigmatic motivational speaker with a disturbing secret, earning praise from critics and contributing to the film's enduring popularity among audiences. Following his standout role in Donnie Darko, Swayze co-starred alongside Billy Bob Thornton and Charlize Theron in 2002's Waking Up in Reno a comedy drama that follows two eccentric couples on a quirky road trip to a monster truck rally in Reno. Despite mixed reviews, Swayze's portrayal added depth to the ensemble cast, showcasing his comedic timing and versatility. In 2004, Swayze tackled the role of Alan Quatermain in King Solomon's Mines, demonstrating his action hero prowess in the adventurous adaptation. He also made a cameo appearance in 2004's Dirty Dancing Havana Nights, 
reprising his connection to the beloved franchise as an unnamed dance instructor, albeit in a prequel setting. The year 2003 marked a significant milestone for Swayze as he co-produced and starred alongside his wife, Lisa Niemi, in One Last Dance, a fictional dance film that delves into themes of love, loss, and redemption. Their collaboration extended beyond acting, as they also contributed to the production and music of the film, showcasing their creative partnership and shared passion for storytelling. Venturing onto the stage, Swayze made his debut in London's West End in the 2006 musical Guys and Dolls, captivating audiences with his portrayal of Nathan Detroit alongside a talented ensemble cast. His return to the theatre underscored his enduring love for the performing arts and his willingness to embrace new challenges. Swayze's later film roles included lending his voice to Cash, the country music band Dog in 2006's The Fox and the Hound 2, and portraying an aging rock star in 2009's Powder Blue, a poignant drama that marked his first on-screen collaboration with his brother, Don Swayze. In his final role, Swayze delivered a powerhouse performance as FBI agent Charles Barker in the 2009 A&E drama The Beast, filmed in Chicago. Despite battling pancreatic cancer, Swayze exhibited remarkable resilience and dedication to his craft. Critics hailed Swayze's performance as the pinnacle of his career, highlighting his unwavering commitment and passion for acting, even in the face of adversity. Renowned for his magnetic charm and undeniable talent, Patrick Swayze transcended the realm of Hollywood stardom to become a cultural phenomenon. This status stemmed from his multifaceted impact on popular culture, extending beyond mere celebrity status to deeply influence the culture of his era. His magnetic charm and undeniable talent made him more than just a Hollywood star. Swayze redefined masculinity in film. Unlike traditional action heroes, Swayze brought a rare combination of sensitivity, strength, and vulnerability to his roles. This nuanced portrayal of masculinity resonated deeply with audiences, challenging conventional stereotypes and offering a more complex and relatable representation of manhood. His iconic performances transcended mere entertainment, sparking cultural phenomena in their own right. Beyond his film roles, Swayze's struggles and triumphs further contributed to his cultural resonance. However, beneath the surface of his on-screen charisma, Swayze grappled with personal demons and buried secrets. Despite his outward success, Swayze faced internal struggles, including a 10-year battle with alcoholism following the death of his father. These challenges, though often hidden from the public eye, shaped his journey both as an actor and as a man. Central to Swayze's narrative was his competitive nature and his relentless desire for approval, particularly from his father. Raised in a traditional Texan household, Swayze felt the weight of familial expectations, driving him to excel in his pursuits. His quest for validation fueled his determination to succeed in Hollywood. Throughout his career, Swayze chased not only professional accolades, but also the elusive affirmation he sought from his father. This drive for recognition fueled his performances, infusing his characters with an intensity and passion that resonated with audiences. Yet despite his achievements, Swayze remained haunted by the specter of unfulfilled expectations. And when his father passed away, he just couldn't take it. He candidly addressed the troubles with alcohol that followed his father's passing in his posthumously published memoir, Time of My Life. Swayze was consuming copious amounts for nearly a decade. Despite his outward success, internally, he grappled with personal demons that seemed insurmountable. In a poignant interview clip featured in the documentary, I Am Patrick Swayze, he confessed to feeling haunted by these internal struggles. This battle also took a toll on Swayze's marriage to Lisa Nimi, whom he married in 1975. While their relationship was filled with love, it was not without its challenges. Nimi described the roller coaster of emotions, noting Swayze's alternating between moments of bubbliness and subsequent crashes when left alone. Despite these challenges, their bond endured. In 1993, Swayze sought treatment for his alcohol addiction, but the road to recovery was not without setbacks. 
A relapse in 2003 prompted Nimi to move out until Swayze committed to seeking help once again. Despite his struggles with personal demons, Patrick Swayze's personal life was marked by enduring love, resilience, and a quest for self-discovery. He shared a deep and lasting bond with his wife, Lisa Nimi, whom he married on June 12, 1975, a union that lasted for 34 years until his passing. Despite not having children of their own, the couple weathered the highs and lows of life together, with Lisa enduring one miscarriage during their marriage. Their love story began in 1970 when Swayze, then 18, crossed paths with the 14-year-old Nimi, who was taking dance lessons from Swayze's mother. This encounter laid the foundation for a lifelong partnership. Swayze disclosed in a 2008 interview that Nimi was the muse behind his heartfelt 1987 song, She's Like the Wind, underscoring the depth of their emotional connection and the profound influence she had on his artistic expression. Swayze's journey of self-exploration even led him down various spiritual paths, reflecting his open-minded approach to faith and belief systems. He delved into practices such as Soka Gakkai Buddhism, EST training, therapy, and transcendental meditation, seeking to nurture and understand different facets of his identity. Despite facing challenges and encountering skepticism in his native Texas, Swayze remained steadfast in his quest for enlightenment, embracing the diversity of religious teachings. The actor's battle with alcoholism, which spanned a decade following his father's death, became a public testament to his resilience and determination to overcome adversity. Seeking solace and healing, Swayze sought rehabilitation in the 1990s, retreating temporarily from the spotlight to focus on his recovery and pursue his passion for breeding Arabian horses on his ranches in California and Las Vegas, New Mexico. Among his prized possessions was Taman, a chestnut Arabian stallion. Moreover, his passion for flying, coupled with his adventurous spirit, led to a bunch of headline-making incidents. In 2000, while piloting his twin-engine Cessna 414, Swayze encountered a pressurization problem, prompting a precautionary landing in Prescott Valley, Arizona. Despite the harrowing experience, he emerged unscathed, though subsequent investigations revealed traces of alcohol in external compartments inaccessible during flight. A second aviation mishap in 2006 during a flight with Nimi tested their resolve once again as they navigated a loss of power and engine failure before executing a safe landing in Van Nuys. In the aftermath, the couple opted to upgrade their aircraft, acquiring a Beechcraft Super King Air to continue their adventures together. Through triumphs and setbacks, Patrick Swayze's journey epitomized resilience, love, and the unwavering pursuit of self-discovery, leaving an indelible legacy that transcends the silver screen. But all of this came crashing down in late December 2007, shortly after completing filming for the pilot episode of The Beast, when he began experiencing discomfort in his stomach, which doctors later attributed to a blockage in his bile ducts. Concern escalated when, in mid-January 2008, he received the devastating diagnosis of stage 4 pancreatic cancer. Swayze underwent chemotherapy, and even participated in experimental treatments at Stanford University Medical Center. Amid swirling rumors and tabloid reports of his declining health, he remained resolute in his fight against cancer. Despite the grim prognosis associated with pancreatic cancer, he expressed optimism and determination to continue his career and life to the fullest. Despite the severity of his illness, Swayze's doctor provided a glimmer of hope affirming that the actor's disease was not as advanced as speculated in the media. In September 2008, he even made an appearance on the Stand Up to Cancer telethon, where he delivered a powerful message of hope and resilience, urging viewers to support cancer research and treatment efforts. His courageous demeanor and unwavering spirit resonated deeply with audiences and fellow cancer patients alike, cementing his legacy as a fighter in the face of adversity. Despite his valiant struggle, Patrick Swayze's battle with pancreatic cancer ultimately came to an end on September 14, 
2009, at the age of 57. His passing marked the conclusion of a 20-month journey filled with highs and lows, but characterized by his unyielding determination and grace. Swayze's legacy lives on, not only through his iconic performances but also through his enduring spirit and unwavering courage in the face of insurmountable odds. Following Swayze's passing on September 14, 2009, Lisa Niemi found solace in remarrying Albert DePrisco in 2014. Despite moving forward with her life, she continues to carry Swayze in her heart. Through the documentary, I Am Patrick Swayze, today's viewers can gain insights into the complexities of Swayze's life and the indelible mark he left on both the entertainment industry and the hearts of those who knew him. Even years after his death, Swayze's legacy is multifaceted, encompassing his remarkable talents as an actor, dancer, and musician, as well as his enduring impact on popular culture. However, his journey was not without its challenges. The passing of his father deeply affected him, shaping his outlook on life and fueling his drive for success. Swayze's battle with alcoholism, which he openly acknowledged, was another hurdle he faced, reflecting his struggles with personal demons and inner turmoil. Despite these challenges, Swayze's resilience and determination propelled him to achieve remarkable success in Hollywood. His iconic roles in films such as Dirty Dancing and Ghost solidified his status as a beloved and respected actor, earning him critical acclaim and widespread recognition. His ability to convey raw emotion and authenticity on screen resonated deeply with audiences, cementing his place in cinematic history. Tragically, Swayze's battle with pancreatic cancer ultimately led to his untimely death. However, even in death, his legacy continues to resonate with fans around the world. His enduring influence can be seen in the ongoing popularity of his films, the tributes paid to him by fellow actors and industry professionals, and his countless fans. Moreover, Swayze's impact extends beyond the realm of entertainment. His openness about his struggles with alcoholism and his courageous battle with cancer has inspired countless individuals to confront their challenges and seek help when needed. In this way, his legacy serves as a beacon of hope and resilience, reminding us of the power of perseverance and the importance of living life to the fullest. Patrick Swayze's relevance persists long after his passing due to the indelible mark he left on the world through his talent, his courage, and his unwavering spirit. He remains a beloved figure in popular culture, cherished by fans for his contributions to film and admired for his strength in the face of adversity. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't miss this video you see on your screen right now. It's truly unbelievable.